And we're very excited to welcome in Nick Wikowski to the Raiders Training Camp Podcast. And Nick, huge day in the building, exciting day for Jesse and I, exciting day for you. The pads came on. So in terms of day one pads in the books, how excited were you guys collectively just to get, you know, kind of ramped up even more throughout training camp? Uh, it's a day we've been looking forward to since the start of camp. I mean, it's kind of one of those days it's circled when we start camp. It's really the first day real football happens. You know, you get the, uh, get the pads on and really get the, uh, get the hitting people. And uh, we were talking before, too, Nick, before we got this thing going. You, know, you said it's been a long time since you put the pads on. Is there kind of working out some of the kinks, kind of feeling out period for you guys? Oh, absolutely. I mean, first day, I mean, there's definitely some things, you know, hand placement, just things getting off blocks for me. I mean, tackling, things like that. You just kind of got, got to get back into you know, we, we were talking right before we started rolling, too, and, and it kind of clicked for me. I was like, oh, man, you guys haven't worn pads since, gosh, early January. Crazy. So when you wake up tomorrow, like, do you feel a different kind of sore after hitting someone for the first time in eight months? Um, You know, I hope not. But, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, it's used, I mean, it definitely does take some time to get back into it. Some soreness, work some things out. But, I mean, that's what we're here for. That's what training camp's for. Yeah, that's awesome. And, again, you know, training camp, you guys are figuring it out. you got the new defense with Coach Bradley. We've heard a lot about him. For you, like, what's your perspective about what it's like playing for a guy like him? And, you know, how are maybe things different on that side of the ball? I um, mean, he's definitely bringing the energy every day. Um, you know, just his presence around the defense. I mean, it's definitely coming into the building. It's a, it's a bright spot. I mean, out in the field, his energy, his, you know, his play calling, just everything about him. I mean, it's a, it's a very positive outlook, and it's, it's, it's fun to play for. You know, you look at this defense now, and there's going to be so many, I guess, new things, new wrinkles in 2021. But in terms of that linebacking core, you look at you, Nick Morrow, Corey, all guys that have been there now going into year two together. How valuable is it just have those other guys in the room to be able to bounce things off of, especially as we kind of gear up now through the preseason and, and week one eventually? Yeah, it's definitely something, you know, we look forward to working together. It's something that, you know, just having a year under our belt together helps us kind of uh, understand each other, how, how to play uh, off each other. And just like you said, bounce things off each other. Um, game plan wise, you know, if you we all may see something differently, just you know, just having those conversations goes a long way. And one guy I've seen you getting a lot of work with is Javen White. Uh, talk to me about him. How has he kind of come back different? I um, mean, many ways, mentally, physically. I, I got an opportunity to train with him really most of the off season. I mean, he's been working, um, added weight. You know, he's been in, in in the playbook. So I mean, definitely just took a big step from his rookie year to this year. You know, and, and just speaking about those rookies in general, Nick. I mean. Is it how I guess can you kind of put into words how hard it would be for those guys to come into a season like last year, right? No offseason program, really no training, you know, you're, and then you're just playing into week one. How valuable is it for those young guys to have a real training camp, to have had the offseason program, and to really kind of ramp up through into the regular season? Yeah, I mean, I've definitely, I've told them, I give them a lot of credit going through last year as a rookie. I mean, I look back to my rookie year, and I mean, I don't know how they did it, um, you know, but it just absolutely coming into a new system this year, it's kind of really. I mean, this is a, a rookie year for a lot of people that even that was here last year just because training camp so much different. It's a new system. Um, there's a lot of different things. Um, but overall, I mean, they've, they've handled it great, um, and they've come a long way. And I'm curious, too, Nick, you know, the new system you mentioned, how does your role as the linebacker in this one kind of change a bit with this new system with Gus in town? Um, there's some similarities from last year. Um, but really, I mean, it's just about acting fast, you know, see ball and, you know, breaking on the ball. Um, a lot of just – I mean, without giving too much stuff away, it's uh, it's really just fast reaction defense. I mean, you talk about seeing the ball and getting the ball. I mean, this is now back-to-back -back days for you with an interception. I mean, you look like a DB out there, man. We got to get it. you a different number. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm having fun out there. How how important, or I guess, how rewarding is that? Exciting to like get your hands on a couple, of, you know, footballs in this early part of camp, especially when the pads come on. Oh yeah, it's exciting. I mean, as a defense, I mean, that's what you strive for: getting turnovers, uh, getting the ball back into your offense's hands. So I mean, anytime that happens, I mean, it's an exciting time. Yeah, you definitely been feeling it. I'm curious too, man, just away from the field. I mean, now that you've been out in Vegas for a while, and obviously the world isn't 100% back to normal, but for you, like, what's life in Vegas been like? How have you kind of been able to take advantage of that? Um, You know, just, I mean, for me, I mean, being from, you know, Pittsburgh, I mean, it's, the weather's everything for me out here. I mean, I spent, <laughs> you know, the, the what I would call winter back home here, and, I mean, it's, it was beautiful. Um, definitely got, you know, travel around, like, outside of Vegas. Um, but I'm loving it so far. I'm really enjoying it. All right, just wrapping up here with Nick Lukaski. Nick, I got to ask you, I was thinking today, because this is a very hard-hitting podcast. Jesse and I are very, you know, oh, yeah. we're very serious guys. Big J journalism. But, but I was looking out there, and I don't know how you and Abram go through practice in full sweatpants. <laughs> like, it's, it's like 100, it's 100 degrees already. How do you do that? You're a madman. Honestly, I, I don't know. It's something that I've done. For probably, <laughs> I've worn sweatpants in practice for years now. So, I mean, it's just something that, you know, once I get going, I don't even, I don't even notice. Fair enough. Well, hey, Nick, I appreciate the time, man. I know this is an incredibly busy portion of the year for you, so we thank you for hanging out with us. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I promise you one day we'll actually get you in the studio and we can do this in real life. How about that? Sounds good. I appreciate you guys having me.